But first tonight at 5 o'clock, that breaking news, 13 Investigates discovers one of the weapons stolen from a new Whiteland gun store has direct ties to the Chicago VA hospital shooting. Today, our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson did some digging to uncover that connection and now shows us the FBI search at that uh, suspect's apartment that's on the south side of Indianapolis. That shooting at the VA in Chicago brought investigators here to Indy Southside to the Stone Lake Lodge Apartments, where neighbors learned about possibly even more gunfire by the same man. He's approached us a couple of times, talked to us. Christina Roll now knows a lot more about her neighbor, Bernard Harvey, especially after what she heard coming from his apartment recently. It sounded like firecrackers. Um, followed by a couple gunshots, and then we didn't think anything of it. Christina learned even more from agents who raided Harvey's apartment Wednesday afternoon. During the search warrant, agents measured what appeared to be bullet holes in the window. Christina likely heard what investigators believe may have been Harvey's target practice. She learned her neighbor is in custody for a violent shooting in another state. Undercover detectives came up and said that the resident that was living there also fire, fired the shots at the Chicago VA. During the VA gunfire, officers ordered the 41-year-old to put down his semi-automatic rifle. Eyewitness News confirmed the serial number on the rifle Harvey reportedly used matches the rifle stolen during a July New Whiteland gun shop smash and grab caught on camera. Now, investigators will try to figure out how Harvey reportedly ended up with one of those stolen guns. Investigators will make what they found here at Harvey's apartment part of his case as he awaits his initial day in court. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.